Now at six, late last month, the Biden administration secured voluntary agreements from some of the top companies developing artificial intelligence to create new standards for their AI products. Representatives from Amazon, Google, Meta, Inflection, Microsoft, and OpenAI, they were all on hand as the president made this announcement. It comes as lawmakers in the U.S. are voicing concerns of their own, having discussions about how best to regulate the emerging technology. So here is more of my discussion with Dr. Patrick Dix on the need to put guardrails in place. We have many Americans that are working and we have many Americans that are not working. So what companies are doing, the pandemic really, as I say, caught companies with their pants down. Companies never want to seize production again. What they have to put in a check and balance system to regulate is that companies cannot fully automate or regulate, not regulate, fully automate their operations or automate or use AI to find out, hey, how can we get rid of these people? Those companies should be able to only eliminate a certain amount of jobs because if we don't put regulations in, a company will say, we'll automate the whole facility, we'll let AI do everything, and we'll go down from a workforce of 500 to maybe 20 or 30. Is there a possibility that this automation, this AI, this technology mm -hmm. can overrun the humans? You know, we've seen it in movies, mm -hmm. right? And it's almost like some of the things that we've seen in movies are coming to pass in reality now with AI. Are we going to see maybe these computers be smarter than humans and then we have to worry about the danger they pose to us? The computers are only as smart as the inputs they're getting from people. So if people allow the machines to become more, um, as we say, intellectual than them, mm -hmm. then that will be a problem. But how do you stop it? Because it's running algorithms all the time, right? It's getting smarter all mm -hmm. the time. And how do you monitor and regulate that? Um, it goes back to what you were saying with regulations. We even have to have regulations from the government um, institutions or government entities. We can only allow the systems to do what we need them to do. You know, I was watching the movie Megan when I flew down here mm. about the dog with the young lady right. and that was very scary the reason why that was scary is because that actually can happen mm. the the, the um, technology it actually became what we call self-aware mm. and it realized it was a person and it kicked out the actual person that developed well that's what I'm saying so how does a company know at this point to put the monitors in place. I mean, do we even know what those monitors are? We don't know what those monitors right. are. But so I'm if you don't know, then how do you do it? Well, they're researching to find it out. They're going <laughs> to have to put those in to make sure that doesn't happen because that is a great possibility. The technology could actually say, I don't need a human anymore. I'm on my own. There's a lot we need to learn about AI. Edifies why I'm afraid of AI. <laughs>